hello guys hello my lovely people welcome back to our youtube channel so today we'll be making another traditional uh, dish another recipe from cameroon it is called ekwan so ekwan is simple a traditional dish for the bafo people the bafo people they come from the they are from the southwest region of cameroon and it, as you rightly seen it here it is coco yam that is being wrapped with some coco yam leaves as we will do it together guys just stay tuned and let's do this together look at how yummy it looks guys thank you so here are our, our ingredients we have in here we have some uh, coco yams that i've peeled off and then i've washed it and then i, I allow it in water in this other bowl we have coco yam leaves this is how it looks like I have already shaped them and then wash them as well allow them in water you can substitute this with spinach large spinach leaves yeah or sweet bitter leaf it works just fine you can substitute this with uh, spinach or, or sweet bitter leaf so here I have some um, uh, crayfish and one habanero I have some smoked fish and some cow beef that are pre-cooked into this other bowl I have uh, our ethnic spices that will just give the flavor of this dish so like I will just go ahead and show you here I have what we call a uh, bush pepper or Nigerians they call I think this is a seeds I'll just use a little bit like half a teaspoon into this other and uh, here we have a uh, white pepper like I brought this to show you how it looks like I hope you can see from there so I for the white pepper yeah we have like a, t a, a tablespoon of white pepper and then we have this is how it looks like and I'll be using the, the blended version In, into this we into this other we have some salt and our magi seasoning cube yeah and then this other side we have half onion you can go with one just optional I have some some uh, uh, country onion this is how it looks like and this is the blended version I'll be using like a tablespoon and a half since the coco yam is not that much and then I have what is called bebe this is I always show you bebe in my kitchen so I'll just peel it off and, and grind it off here we have what is called uh, four corner spices and this is how it actually looks like so I just cut a little bit of it yeah all right guys not forgetting our not forgetting our palm oil all right let's go guys so we'll just go ahead and grate our coco yams you can see use your food processor to grate it yeah guys so just do this i want this i want us to do it traditionally the way we do it back home in Cameroon. yeah guys and it's very difficult to have coco yams here in europe and coco leaf as well like i would say just a privilege <laughs> yeah guys we are almost done guys you see yeah all right we are done grating our coco yams so what we are going to do here is we just bring in a bit of salt you have to season your your coco yams a little bit like a teaspoon of salt and one seasoning cube yeah like mostly most people don't do this but actually you have to do this because you don't want your your the outer the soup to be tasty and then the coco yam inside not all right guys so after you've given this a fine mix you just go ahead now and then you use some oil and then you grease your pot like the pot that we have here like normally i believe we used to do this in cameroon because our pot then who like when you're preparing this dish it will just stick get sticky like stick under so i don't know i have this tendency like even though it's non-stick pot but i still do the same thing guys yeah so after you must have done grease your your pot you mix up if your coco yam is a little bit hard you can chip in a bit of water like for this one i'm just going to put in just a little bit of water yeah guys like this quantity not that much and then you give it a fine mix like this coco yam is actually the red and the white coco yam so yeah it's not that hard this is 
the perfect uh, consistency you want to have now we we'll just go ahead and start grabbing our cocoa, cocoa yams in our cocoa yam leaves all right guys stay connected and keep watching watch me as i do it you take one cocoa yam leaf remember we already washed this cocoa yam leaf thoroughly what you do is you place a portion of your grated cocoa yam inside and then you turn it you roll it over like yeah that's how that's the right way roll it over until you have this this fine shape you're seeing here then you place in your pot like that i'll do it again watch me you take a quantity and then you put inside your cocoa yam leaf like this roll it over and make sure that everything goes inside then you roll it over and then you place guys this dish the traditional dish and I just want you to learn something from the southwest region of Cameroon. Let's go. All right, guys. So we are done uh, rubbing up our acorn. So I'm just going to introduce some hot water over it. Like that, guys. Hot water, not cold water, guys. You can see so that it will just coagulate the cocoa yams inside the leaves. next we just go in we bring in introduce our seasoning yeah guys so after putting our hot water we just go ahead with our seasoning our onion blend this is just optional so we we'll go ahead to, to put our yeah after our onion blend we bring in our country onion the powder just going to put all your seasonings now country onion you have your white pepper you have your bush pepper or black pepper just bring in your source of protein your small fish or what source of protein you're, you're using and some cow meat To bring I'm, I'm not going to blend in my habanero so I'll just drop it then we have our crayfish just put everything like that guys in comes some salt and then we bring in our palm oil Our seasoning cube so after putting all of this you just allow it cook like for an, for an hour yeah then you check on it if your seasoning is uh, okay cover it up okay yeah, guys so we just go ahead and then check our egg one Ooh, look at this guys I'm just going to give it a fine mix a little bit how yummy it looks the angry spices it smells so so nice like the aroma is all over the place guys so give it a fine shake then taste your seasoning if there's anything you would like to add then you can go ahead and add it. this i think this is just okay mm, my goodness guys you need to try this at home and enjoy it it's so so yummy and delicious mm, my god ah, let it get ready first so we'll allow it to smell like five more minutes and then that is it yeah guys let's check Ooh, look at this my lovely people our egg one is ready if you've been watching to this moment please thank you so much yeah this is how we go about egg one in Cameroon thank you so so much for watching until we see you again remain blessed remain positive bye